In the North Country, bowling lanes expected to reopen in June as part of Phase 4, but it never happened. As weeks went by, calls to reopen grew louder. Well, today, Governor Andrew Cuomo gave bowling alleys the A-OK -okay with new safety measures, of course. Local 22's Devin Bates has more tonight from Malone. Well, the sign behind me makes it pretty clear how the owner of Lucky Strike Lanes felt about having to be shut down for about five months. But it turns out that's not the only lengths he went to to get Governor Andrew Cuomo's attention. I know we sent out a lot of bowling pins. Uh, myself, we sent out over 60 bowling pins, you know, to the governor. Scott McLaughlin has spent weeks wondering when Lucky Strike Lanes would be spared from its extended closure, even holding a press conference last week with local and state lawmakers to show off new safety protocols and advocate for reopening. Still, Governor Cuomo held off on giving bowling alleys the green light until Friday. Right now, it's just a happy feeling that we can reopen. The people that I've talked to, they want to bowl. I mean, they, they, they haven't bowled since March, our league bowlers. Um, you know, they're with us for 32, 34 weeks out of the, the year. Um, they want a bowl. Between McLaughlin's press conference, the 60 pins he sent to Governor Cuomo, and the bowling community's help in advocating for lanes to reopen, it seems all that was enough to bring local bowling back from the gutter. Usually our, our league season begins Labor Day week. Um, you know, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna start on schedule. All the emails, phone calls, everything that everybody did to help us get open, um, it, you know, it was definitely a team effort. Things will start back up here again on Monday with 50% capacity and every other lane closed off. In Malone, Devin Bates, Local 22 News.